Shalom. Kohalola Yahweh by Hashem Elishah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son is Yahweh by Hashem Elishah. Also, Shalom to you brothers, you alchemists pushing and spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and uh, uh, Jacob, all forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations you're scattered amongst, which the heathen nations are the nations from starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your bloodline goes back to these people, as you see right here on this chart right here, through the man. And if the spirit bear witness with this word, this truth, you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, and child. If this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you do look like the heathen nations just scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people you see on this chart. So, once again, you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 15th verse on down. Their spirit bear witness that they're the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Hashem El Shah. And once again, their lineage goes back to these people through the man. No matter what they come out looking like, you know, if their father's an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite. To the to you few Aqua, if you few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, whatever it may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth for this world is going out to you, shall I want to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, as you see in this chart right here, once again, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. Um, here you go with Esau, Edom, who is a so-called white man. Okay, in the C line, he uh, you got Joe Biden right here talking about he's promising to bring justice to uh the George Floyd uh family, which we all know is is lies. So um, I'm just gonna play this clip, and I'm gonna pause it, then just bring it out. Uh, the Floyd family, and a group of them, most of them, they're close, decent, honorable family loving one another. And once again, we had the words, heard the words, and they heard them. I can't breathe. An act of brutality so elemental, it did more than deny one more black man in America his civil rights and his human rights. It denied him of his very humanity. It denied him of his life. Depriving George Floyd is, uh, as, as it deprived Eric Garner, one of the things every human being must be able to do, breathe. So simple, so basic, so brutal. You know, uh, uh, with the same thing happened with Aubrey, the same thing happened with Breonna Taylor, the same thing with George Floyd. You know, we've spoken their names aloud. We cried them out in pain and in horror. We chiseled them into a long, suffering hearts. And the latest additions to the endless list of stolen potential wiped out unnecessarily. You know, it's a list that dates back more than 400 years. Black men, black women, black children. The original sin of this country still stains our nation today. And sometimes we manage to overlook it. We just push forward with a thousand other tasks in our daily life. But it's always there. In weeks like this, we see it plainly that we're a country with an open wound. And none of us can turn away. None of us can be silent. None of us can any longer can we hear the words, I can't breathe, and do nothing. You know, we can't fail victims like, you know, what Martin Luther King called the appalling silence of good people. Every day, African Americans go about their lives with a constant anxiety and trauma, wondering, who will be next? Imagine if every time your husband or son, wife or daughter left the house, you feared for their safety from bad actors and bad police. Imagine if you had to have that talk with your child about not asserting your rights, taking the abuse handed out to them, so, so, just so, they could make it home. 
Imagine having police called on you just for sitting in Starbucks or, or, or renting an Airbnb or watching birds. You know, this is the norm black people in this country deal with. They don't have to imagine it. The anger and frustration and the exhaustion is undeniable. But that is, that's not the promise of America. It's long past time that we made the promise of this nation real for all people. You know, this is no time for incendiary treats, tweets. It's no time to encourage violence. This is a national crisis. We need real leadership right now. Leadership that will bring everyone to the table so we can take measures to root out systemic racism. It's time for us to take a hard look at the uncomfortable truths. It's time for us to face that deep open wound we have in this nation. We need justice for George Floyd. We need real police reform that hold cops to a higher standard that so many of them actually meet, that holds bad cops accountable, that repairs relationship between law enforcement and the community they're sworn to protect. We need to stand up as a nation with the black community, with all minority communities, and come together as one America. That's the challenge we face. You know, it's, it's going to require... Those of us who sit in some position of influence to finally deal with the abuse of power. The pain is too immense for one. All right, that's enough. I can't really, you know, I can't really watch them. This is a bunch of lies coming out this man's mouth. Okay? But don't don't listen to this dude, man. Okay? You can see me. Don't listen to him. Listen to this devil. They've been pushing that madness, okay, for decades. This is what we got to do with police reform. You know, we got to get together, you know. It's sad to see, you know, uh, what's happening to the to the so-called black man, the Latino man, Native American man. But who who's doing it? It's you Edomites that's doing it, you know. Now he's talking about we're going to, you know, we're going to heal the, uh, we need to heal the wounds of this situation. Well, well, that's not your job, Esau, okay. Let me get a scripture real quick. It's over. We, you know, we see through it, man. If the spirit of you, how about Shema Shah's on you? You gonna, you gonna see through his, through all his lies, man. Okay, through that that deceit, man. Okay, the scriptures say that this man is more subtile than any beast in the field, man. Meaning he's crafty, man. For so long he's been able, so like yeah, he's been able to uh use that sweet talk to uh sway, you know, and to you know sway the masses, man. Like he's done, okay. Especially with our people. Because our people automatically think because they smile in your face, you know, they shake your hand, you know, they give you certain goodies and gifts, you know, that they, they like you. And that's not the case, man. Okay? That's that's actually pretty smart, you know, to make somebody that you hate the most think think that you like them, you know? And it's worth for some time. Um, let's see where the scripture is at. Hopefully you can see me. It's not like bright sun out here. Um, let me type it in. Salakia. Try to find that scripture that says, and though he speaks sweetly, let me just go in the KJV. If I can't get it, I got another scripture.
I know it's in the book of Psalms. I gotta find it. Oh man. Alright, uh, let me just get another one. All right, but it's scripture when like they they speak sweet, you know, sweetly with their mouth, you know. But well, I'm gonna get another scripture. I got another one anyway. No value. Right. This is uh Job fourteen or thirteen, Salakia, right. Actually, you know what? Salakia. Kiss. We get that. Yeah, here it is. Salaki. Took a minute. Uh, this is Proverbs 27 and 6. It says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy, because Esau Edom is your, your enemy, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, just anybody that's new. That's your enemy, man. This is why he, you know, treats you the way he does. This is why he, uh, uh, the things will, that happens to you so-called Negroes, Latinos on a daily basis. Okay, he allows it to happen. And he's a, you know, he doesn't care, man. He speaks loftily against the oppression, man. He does not care, you know, because he's your enemy. Or deceitful, man. And that was deceitful talk he was doing right there, man. All that, that came out of his mouth was deceit. All that so-called love, you know, we care about the so-called black, Latino, Native American community. It's all deceit, man. Okay? It's all deceit. And let me get that Proverbs 13 and 14. Just type it in. Everything that came out that man's mouth is all deceit. But, you know, a lot of our people, they get took over by Esau's words, man. That 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 so-called, you know, big talk that he likes to do. You know, he got the nice suit on, the, the money. So they automatically, you know, they, they they hear him, man. Okay? Says, let me see. Before I skipped it. Let me just type it in. Yep, this is Job 13 and 4. Says, but ye are forged of lies. Because that's, that's all that came out that dude's mouth. It's nothing but lies, man. They don't want to help you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know? It's uh you are all physicians of no value. And I want to get the definition of physician, right? This man, he's a liar, man. And it's, it's crazy, you know, Jake, they still can't they still can't see it. They still can't see that this man is the enemy. But they seen it now, you know. It says a a person qualified to practice practice medicine, okay, and that damn sure ain't Esau, cause the medicine that he uses it kills you, okay. Everything that this man do is 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 uh is, is unprofitable, you know, and it's counterproductive, man. There's nothing productive about this man, okay. And he's talking about he wants to bring healing, okay, and justice. No, you're not, man, okay. But he's a he's a he's a liar, man, of a, a physician of no value. And he he's talking about once again another uh, officer, you know, 
another officer, you know, basically talk, speaking that pro police brutality, talking about how he, uh, for George Floyd, he couldn't, uh, George Floyd, he couldn't breathe. Well, the scriptures say, you know, where does the corruption of these officers come from? Where does the action of these officers come from? Sirach 10 and 2, well, 2 told you that, right? It says, as a judge, and let me go up here. As a judge, this is Sirach, or Ecclesiastes 10 and 2, by the way. It says, as a judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And in what manner of man the ruler of the city, of the city, the city is, such are all they that dwell in him, man. Okay? So, the corruption that these officers is, is, is pushing out on the streets, especially amongst you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the corruption comes from the top, man. Politicians like Joe Biden, you know, uh, 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 Mitch McConnell, Donald Trump, all of them, man. They all, okay, alongside them devils, the elites, you know, the so-called Illuminati, they're all uh, uh, pushing that, okay, down to the bottom of their system, man. You got them, you got the police officers, then you got these lower level, uh, 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 these lower level demons, like the sellouts of our people, okay, that help this man his agenda, okay? And you Edomites, you were ever you average everyday Joe six pack Edomites. Cause when this system was was okay, when the, these uh elites didn't sell you out, you was all for this system. You was all for the oppression of Jacob, you know? But you know. Where does that corruption come from? Why are they doing that? It's because it's coming from the top, man. People like Joe Biden and all of them, you know? He's talking about, once again, the, the you know, uh, more, you know, problems within the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the police, uh, the police, uh, um, the police, uh, slacky, slipping my mind. The police stations, you know? Well, it's, it's, it's coming from you. They take orders from you, you know? That just shows you how deceitful and a, a liar this man is. Okay? Another scripture, because this man, he's a, a he's literally a, a physician of no value, man. You know, you so-called Negroes have, as I'm about to, let me just get it. In Lamentations, the fifth chapter. I believe it's Lamentations 5. It says in this chapter, I think. Let me see. Or it could be the fourth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This is Lamentations 4 and 17. This is our people right here. It says, As for our eyes as yet filled for our vain hope, and watching, and our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. Man, our people, you know, for one, we came over in captivity. Right, we built your, you know, your cities, you know, off bondage. Okay, you so called freed us, but you really kept at it, even as you're doing right now. Okay, and what you set up Jim Crow laws, you know, you, 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 uh, uh our people, you know, they, they, uh, uh, you know, they tried to abide by your laws the best they could because you, you devils, you know, you make it hard for Jake to, you know, to try to stay on the right path because you know, Jake try, you know, Jake. Actually, you no know, does good, he'll prosper, man. He goes above you either, Mike's man. So you gotta find, you know, ways for Jake to stumble. Okay? You do that through drugs, through uh your laws, you know, police brutality, you know. You do all these just different things, these setups, all these different stumbling blocks on our people, you know. Our people have even voted, you know, they try to act like you, they dye their hair like you, and you still you still slow. You still uh killing them, you know. That's what that's going into. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is is come. Every time Jake come out, soon as Jake see you know, flashing lights, your heart start to jump, you know. Whole time it's just the ambulance going by, you know. This is the situation we're dealing with, you know. Our persecutors, which is Esau and you other nations, but it's chiefly you Edomites, man. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursue upon us, us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. And this is what they do. Now, they talk all that peace crap, you know. Then when they when they get Jake, you know, Jake, you know, Jake be emotional. So when they get Jake's attention, 
Once they got Jake's full attention, they turn around and they use that that peace against you, man. War is in their heart, man. Okay? You keep hearing them say we need to do police reform. You've been talking about police reform for decades, man. And it's still happening under your watch. Okay? It's because this is what they want. They hate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And the Lord is, is, is putting the spirit on them to bring that hatred out, man. That's what it all comes down to. But if you ain't got the spirit, you how about you mouth shot to see? You're not going to see. You're just going to continue trying to fight to be equal with this devil. You're going to continue wanting to be a part of this system, okay? And you're just going to be dealing with the same scenario, man. This man will not. It's not going to help you, man. Okay? Him or the other heathen nations, man. They are not going to help you tribes, man. Okay? The Lord didn't, didn't set up like that, you know? They're not going to help you. It says, the breath of our nostrils, the anointing of the Lord was taken in their pits, of whom we said, under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. Okay? And they devouring us right now. Okay? De Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 68. And ye shall be brought into Egypt again. Because he's talking about America, man. Because he said Egypt again. The first Egypt is, is, is his story, basically. You know? So he's talking about the spiritual Egypt, man. He's talking about America, man. With ships. Because we came over here with ships. And you, are, and you should be sold for bond men and bond women. Which that happened. Okay? And no man shall buy you. Which if you go into that word buy means redeem you, man. Nobody's going to redeem you out of your situation. None of these political uh, 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 figures. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey. You know, Al Sharpton, T.D. Jakes. You know, the celebrities that our people look up to. None of them is going to, to uh, deliver you, man. Okay, they just gonna sit still. Okay, and they just gonna go uh, 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 wait till this all pass and go back to being wicked. That's all they are gonna do, you know. The only ones that's gonna save you, as I'm about to get into, is Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Okay, nobody else is gonna save you, man. Okay, and Esau damn sure ain't gonna save. You. He's made that clear. You know, he's made this clear for decades, man. Okay, for generations, not decades, generations. You know, and this is what our people do. You know? Um, this is Isaiah 42. Let me see. I'm going to get to the point. This is Isaiah 42 and uh, 21. It says, The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this people, which he's talking about you tribes, man. This people, this is a people robbed and spoiled. How were we robbed and spoiled? We were robbed and spoiled, you know, uh, 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 during the transatlantic slave trade, man. Because our people, you know, they like to say, well, that was in the past. We now, we, we dealing with now. Well, the scriptures say, remember the times of old, man. Okay? And the past is what makes your future, man. What happens in the past makes your future, man. Okay? And what have these Edomites and these heathens done in the past? Okay? They, 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 uh, uh, put us in hardcore slavery, man. And they built this system that you see today. It was built off our backs. Okay? And now what's their future? Their young, their young ones, their kids, they're living off their blood money, okay? But you like to say, you know, the past don't matter. We in the future now, okay? And what's your, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans future under this captivity? Police brutality on the bottom, okay? The vibe is all hell, okay? Though we are waking up and coming back through your house by Shemel Shah, okay? And still trying now, you know? That's what you're seeing. Okay? So, let me go up. It says, They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. And these different prison houses is wherever we've been scattered at, man. America is a prison house. Okay? And wherever our people are at, under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15 verse, is a prison house. Okay? Then you got within these countries actual prisons, man. And Esau, who's mostly... 
populating these prisons, man. It's Jake, man. Okay? Mostly the uh, Negroes and Latinos, man. Okay? This is what they're doing. You can't make this up. They are for a prey, okay, by who? Esau and other nations, and none delivereth them. For a spoil, and none saith restore. And they might say it, like I, you saw in that video, like he's he's talking like that, but they're not going to restore. Because you had before this, you had the uh, whole reparation talk. But you, you Negroes, still to this, you so-called Negroes and the rest of you tribes, still to this day, have yet to receive that 40 acres in the mule, man. You know? Because the Lord ain't, he, the Lord ain't set up like that. The Lord ain't set up for Esau to give you reparations or to, you know, to lift you up, man. Okay? It says, who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob full spoil and Israel to the robbers? Okay? Did not the Lord? He against whom we have sinned. For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they diso were they obedient unto his law. And this is why we're in this predicament. Okay? Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. It's not because Esau, you know, he was just stronger, smarter, you know, faster. No. Okay? If the Lord didn't put the spirit on Esau and wasn't behind Esau doing that, Esau would never be in power right now. They would be on the bottom. We would be ruling. Okay? But because we were, you know, like the scriptures say, judge one, wax fat, and kick, because we got rebellious. We started leaning on to our own and standing, doing what we want, okay, worshiping these other gods, you know, just being wicked. The Lord cast us away, okay? The Lord stripped us of our heritage using Esau, okay? And he also stripped us of our power, man. So this is why we're being devoured in the streets of America and wherever we've been scattered, Okay? But the Lord, keep in mind, the Lord was the one that gave us into the hands of Esau. Okay? Therefore, have he poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of the battle. And it has set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Okay? So, this is why we're in this, this, this uh, madness, you know? Basically, we on punishment, basically. But, Baruch, I believe is the third chapter. The Lord didn't sell us into these devil's hands just to be devoured forever, man. Okay? Come on. Like, we just went through the, the, the captivity that we went through was probably the worst captivity on the planet Earth, man. Any other nation that would have went through that captivity would not have been a nation. They wouldn't have even survive that. Okay? That's showing you that your how about Shema Shah is with us, man. Okay? He was with us all this time. It's just that he hit his hit. He had put. He took his name out of earth. Okay, this is uh Baruch four, and I'm gonna start at uh five. It says, "Be of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. So the Lord didn't give us into the hand of the heat Esau and the heathen. Okay, to be completely destroyed, man. Just so they could keep ruling over us. Just so we could still." Be sl no slaves working on the bottom while these Edomites and the rest of these heathens they live and get rich at the top. The Lord didn't sell us, okay, in this situation just to leave us here, man. Okay, we were not created to be slaves to to our slaves because that's literally what they are. They they're slaves on the loose. Okay, that's what they are. They're just slaves on the loose, you know. But because you move your Yahweh to wrath, you were delivered onto the enemies. Okay. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing on the devils and not to Yahweh. And our people are still doing that right now. Okay? This word coming out, you still got Israelites still doing that. Okay? From the least of them to the greatest of them. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell upon Zion, Yahweh had brought upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivities of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. So the Most High witnessed us going to captivity. Okay? He saw us getting rounded up by them Hamites, which is the so-called Africans, which you do have Israelites still in Africa, but we're not Africans. Okay? He saw them rounding us up and selling us, or him, them and them, uh, them Arabs, man, them Ishmaelites, you know? He saw them do that, man. He saw, he saw, you know, put us on them ships and Throwing Jake off the ships and shark eating them and 
you know, torturing them, you know, selling our kids and our wives at different plantations, you know, the raping, you know, the robbing. He saw all that, you know. Don't think he ain't see it. He saw the things that the most high ain't see. The most high see everything. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many. Who for the sins of my children are left desolate because they departed from the law of Yahweh. And that's what it keeps going back to is because we broke the law of statutes and commandments. Nothing else. Okay? We broke the first covenant. They knew not his statutes nor walked in the ways of his commandments nor tried in the paths of discipline and his righteousness. Let them that dwell by Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters which the everlasting had brought upon them. For he had brought a nation upon them from far, which that nation was Esau Edom. Okay, the so-called white man. A shameless nation in the, of a strange language, because we wasn't speaking English or Spanish and, you know, these different languages. These are all languages of Esau Edom. Okay, we were speaking Hebrew, but we, because we were in the captivity, he beat, you know, our nationality out of us. And he put what he wanted us to, you know, speak and do and everything. This is why you see our people doing what they're doing now. They act like heathens. A majority of them do. It says who neither reverence old man nor pity child. Okay? George Floyd, you know, Trayvon Martin, all these just different things, man. This man don't care about your top. You know, he was feeding our kids as alligator bait, man. Okay? So in order to trap alligators so they could get the skin off the alligators to make, you know, clothing and boots and everything, they would use an Israelite baby. And they would use him as bait to trap the alligator. That's what they were doing. So what with the time we're in right now, with all these riots going on throughout this country, basically America's on fire. Okay, when Esau really comes down with that wrath, what you think he's going to do to your children on this side, man? You know? This man don't care. Okay? These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. But what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. So the one that put us in the hands of our enemies, which was Yahweh, the Lord, he's the one that's going to take us out of it. But he's going to use, so let me get that. Um, if I could find it. Type in branch of David. This, this, the, the heavenly, the, see, divine, what you got to understand is divine intervention. This, this, the divine intervention was used to put, you know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in bondage. Because without that divine interv uh, intervention from Moha, Esau and the other nations would have never done what they did with us. Because if you read about our forefathers in the past, man, these heathens were getting fucked up. Excuse my language. I'm just going to say how it is, though. Okay? They couldn't do nothing with us. When Yahweh Bashim was dealing with us, they could not do nothing. Now, all of a sudden, they could do... That's because we went off. Okay? Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. It's because we went off. Uh, let me see. I know what I'm looking for. I just got to find it. It's, uh... The hell? Yeah, it is. Jeremiah 33 and 15. So the Heavenly Father, he put us in a situation. He's going to deliver us out of it. But he's going to use and sin, you know, because the Lord has not forsaken us. You know, I hear something. It's like it. You know, he ain't, he, ain't, he ain't cast off his people, man. You know, let me get that real quick. Cause it looked like you know it looked like the Lord He's completely done with us, man. It looked like that, you know, to the to the masses of our people, but to the elect, we know as the hopeful elect, you know, we know that Yahweh Shemel Shah is gonna fight for us, man. Let me see. 
We got a power that's going to fight for us. Because these heathens, they're not going to do it, man. They're not set up to do it. They're your enemies. Why is your enemy going to let, going to let you, you know, get back, you know, to, to, to your glory days? It's not going to happen. You know? I believe it. Let me get uh, Amos 8. I believe it's Amos 8 or 9. Right? I think it's the ninth chapter. Somehow he will not utterly destroy Jacob. There it is. It's Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And that used to be us. Because when we were in our power, once again, we what? We went off. Okay, but now the most sinful kingdom on the planet Earth right now, the rain, is the kingdom of you Edomites. This is the most sinful kingdom. Okay, this is why the Lord is risen in this place. This is why a plague is hidden in this place. And I will destroy it from all of the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. Why? Because he has a remnant. He has a elect. Okay, but showing you the Lord is not, he has not, you know, forsaken us, man. He's, he's for us, man. He just hid, you know, for a time. He just hid his face. From us because we drove in the wrath. You know. So going back. This is uh. Alright, this is um Jeremiah 33 and 14. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days and at that time I will cause the branch of righteousness to grow, grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. Okay? And who is that? Who is he going to raise up? He's going to raise up his, his son. Okay, Yahweh shot, man. He's going to send Yahweh shot back, okay, to make war with this beast, man. To make war with Esau, man. To make war with our enemies, man. Okay? This was this is what we're coming to. All the prophecies leading up to this, to the main event, man. Okay? That's who's going, you know, that's who's going to bring justice, you know, to our people. That's who's going to restore our people. Okay? Not Esau, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father is going to send uh, 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 Shah to uh, uh, take down these heathen, man. Okay? In those days shall Judah be saved and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called, the Lord of our righteousness, man. Okay? Let me see. Keep going. Okay? So, that's, that's what's going to happen. The Lord is going to send Yahawashah, okay? To take down this system, you know. Oh, let me see. Revelations, the white horse. Because without Yahweh or Yahweh Shah, you know, we through. You know, we just as good as dead as ever, man. Anything outside of Yahweh by Shema Shah, we finish. Okay? You ever seen a uh, movie Thor? You know, Thor, how he was, you know, he was, uh, he was powerful. You know, he was basically, you know, uh, uh, mighty. 
But when he uh basically he I believe he, you know he said something to his father, he disrespected his father. So what did his father do? His father, you know, took his power away from him and sent him, you know, on planet Earth among, you know, normal or regular regular human beings. Okay? He was powerless. And really, that movie based on the Israelites, if you think about it, in the spirit, you know, because that's what happened with us. We got stripped from our glory and the Lord scattered us amongst these heathens, the heathens that don't like us, you know, and what? We getting devoured left and right, but now we're coming back to uh, Yahweh by Shemel Shah. This is why they're scared. This is why Esau knows he has but a short time left. Bear with me. But Yahweh Shah is going to send, I mean, Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shah back, man. That's our true justice, man. Okay? Esau and these other niggas, they not gonna they not gonna help you you uh you tribes out, man. They love seeing you in this bomb state. Cause as long as you in this bomb state, as long as you confused, as long as you don't know who your power is, they're gonna have their way with you continually, man. But it's gonna end. That's that's ending now because the elect is waking up. Uh let me see. This is uh let's see what I'm gonna start at. You know what? Let me get that Isaiah 63. That's what I'm going to get. Then I'm going to come back to this. Came to my mind. It's Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, Who is that that coming from Edom, you so-called Caucasian people, with dyed garments from Basra? Okay? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the, in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty and safe. It says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that trod in the wine fat. Okay? I have trod in the wine press alone and of the people that were none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. Okay? And what's that saying? The Lord saying when he comes back, he's going to do a lot of killing, man. Okay? When Yahweh, shot, when, when Yahweh sends Yahweh shot down here to, to redeem us, to redeem his elect. Okay? It's going to be a lot. He's going to put a lot of heathens to death, man. Even two-thirds, man, that don't uh, want to hearken. Okay? But you Edomites, you're going to be through, man. Okay? For the day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year my redeem has come. Okay? Let me see. I can keep going, you know? Let me see. Yep, I could. I'll just end it with this. Call Allah Yahweh Shema Shah says, and I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fear it, up, it upheld me. It says, I would tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth, man. This is what Yahweh Shah. This is what the Lord's doing now. He's bringing Esau down through this word, but we about to see the physical, you know, the physical manifestation of the takedown of Esau, Edom, and the rest of you heathens, man. Okay? The wicked is going down. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord had bestowed on us, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which had bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. But he said, surely they are, my, they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. And all their affliction, he was afflicted. So as we will know, the Heavenly Father, they're witnessing, you know, the uh, oppression that Jake is facing down on the planet Earth, man. And they're saying that as Jake get oppressed, they're getting oppressed, you know, or they're being afflicted, watching Jake getting afflicted, man. So they pissed off, man. Esau think, you know, he he won up in the Lord, man. Like, ain't nobody going to do nothing about it, you know? We're going to see about that. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved him. In his love and in his pity, he will redeem them. And he redeemed them, and he bare them, and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy and fought against them. Once again, he put us 
in the hands of our enemies. But then he remembered the days of old Moses and his people saying, where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the, she the shepherd of his flock? Where is he that put his Holy Spirit within them? That led them by the right hand of Moses with his glorious arm, dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name. That led them through the deep as in horse in the wilderness that they should not stumble. You know, let me see. No, I could keep going, actually. I think I made the point in this chapter. Um, let me see. Okay, that's the point. I'm going to uh, end it with this 19. That, that white horse, you know. Um, this is a... Uh, I'm going to get to the point. Revelations 19 and 11. And I saw open... So like it says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him, was called faithful and true. Now, white horse is really them uh, chariots, them so-called UFOs. So, how is going to be coming in here um, making war with? Okay, you're going to have the elect. They're going to be raised up. You got the uh, missiles. Okay? You even got the Lord putting the spirit on these other heathens to attack America, Babylon, the Great, man. And they're getting there in that mode right now. Okay? Got the angels. It says, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and righteousness he doth judge and make war. And he's going to make war what? Eat him? Okay, you heed him. Okay? His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his hand, on his head, were many crowns. Okay? And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And what's that uh, synonymous with? On his head were many crowns, because that's synonymous for the Lord. When he comes back, when he makes war against you heathen, he's going to take you heathen out of power, man. Okay? Because he's coming to set Yahweh Shah, Yahweh is sending Yahweh Shah to come and set the kingdom of heaven up on the planet Earth, which will be on the planet Earth, and it will manifest itself in the, the galaxies, okay? Uh, 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 he's coming to set his kingdom up, and, uh, the elect, and once, you know, all the two-thirds that die on this side, they're going to be brought, you know, back through the elect, okay? In righteousness, okay? We're going to be joint heirs with him, okay? So this is what he's coming to do. He's coming to take... Overthrow the heathen. He's coming to set his people up. Okay? So it won't be no more Esau eating. It won't be no more you heathens ruling ever again. Okay? And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. His name is called the Word of God. It says, And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth go a sharp sword that it was that with it it should smite the nations. Okay, that don't sound like he's coming to make Peace and love with the, the nations. No. Let me read it again. Out of his mouth go a sharp sword that with it he shall smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of arm and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty Yahweh. Okay? And on his vestures and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Okay? So Yahweh says when he come back he gonna come back in style. You know? He going to show you, okay, that he that he's above all, man. This is what he's coming to do. And it said that he's going to, uh, he shall rule him with a rod of iron. Did not it say we're going to rule with the rod of iron too? You know? Let me look that up. I get that Psalms too, right? Yep, I'm gonna start at Psalms two and six. 
It says, Yeah, I have set my king upon my holy mountain hill of Zion, which Zion is Israel. And I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And this is what we're asking for. To have the same heathens that were oppressing us, that we have our foot on their necks. You know, that we will be above them, ruling over them. And the Lord's going to give that to us. We just got to wait for it. Okay? And the wait is almost over. It says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Okay? So, we're going to be joint heirs with them. Okay? So, all we got to do is wait upon you. How about Shemar Shah? We don't need to get no weapons. We don't need to go to the White House, kick the door, and do all this madness that you see our two-thirds doing. You know? Let them have that. You know, we're going to wait upon you. How about Shemar Shah? When he lift that stand up, it's game over. You know? To hell with you, to hell with Esau and what he got to provide, man. His reparations, you know? He going into slavery, man. Okay? Him and these other heathens. Okay? So that's it. The point was made. Alright. Call her Lord Allah Yahweh by Shima Shah. Baba Gasha, Baba Ba, Baba Ba, Ba Ha Yapia, Ba Ha Yapia, Yahweh by Shima Shah, and uh. Shalom to the elect and you few Israelite sisters that do listen and learn. Shalom.